morning vlog welcome back to another youtube video as you can probably tell by the title i am currently in rome i've been here for the past four days so i just did my morning skincare and put on a comfy outfit gonna go run and get a coffee i already had a coffee this morning but gonna go run and get another coffee and maybe a bite to eat this is what i've been using in the morning just to run out of the house to feel hydrated and just put together beauty booster cream i'm obsessed with this I really feel like it brings my skin back to life and then obviously the classic drunk elephant drops and then i might just throw on a little lip stain i don't really love wearing makeup in the morning i'm sure you guys can relate to those drunk elephant drops as a lot of you probably know are perfect for that so tommy does have a doubles match today later in the day and then tomorrow is his singles match i actually wasn't gonna go to the doubles match today because i have like four meetings today but i'm gonna go because whenever i don't go i always regret not going because i watch my phone i'm like should have gone. I was actually going to go get my hair cut this morning, but I don't think I'm going to do that today anymore. I might do that another day or tomorrow. I also really need to get my nails done. But yeah, I'm really excited to be vlogging for you guys this week. I took a little bit of a break when I first showed up to Rome because I've been vlogging so much recently, which I love, but thought I would do a little bit of a break. Also, I've been literally going to the same coffee shop every single morning. And I love doing that. Like I love getting into little routines when I'm on the road and just like finding my spots. I've also been drinking so much coffee, which makes sense, we're in Italy, but. And a lot of wine. I went for a pre-dinner drink with my friend Louise. She's actually American, but dating a UK based tennis player. And we went to get a drink and it ended up being like two and a half hours. And it was just really, really nice being on the road with Tommy on the tour obviously can be a little bit isolating. I will occasionally, as you saw, bring a friend out or even fly my mom in because she loves tennis and I'm very close with my mom. Getting to know the girls that are also on the tour has been really nice. It's just like a very unique lifestyle being on the road all the time um, and tennis can be a very tough sport and it's just like a very unique situation. So it's really nice getting to know other girls on the tour um, mostly everyone is really nice. I caught up with her for like three hours yesterday and it was just so nice and put me in like the best mood. So yeah, that was really nice. There's something kind of cool about making friends in your adult life because it is hard er, to make friends when you're an adult. Um, I'm really lucky that I have a lot of like older long-term friends. It's like dating when you're older, you have to go get a coffee and go get a drink and make that effort, but it's always so worth it. And then especially when you like meet the right people and you meet really good people. It's also funny, I always like gravitate towards older women. I love to look up to and get advice from people who have just experience and life experience. Um, but anyways, I digress, Oop, tangent, let's go get coffee. finished getting ready for Tommy's doubles match this morning I took a really nice long walk like four miles walked around the city got a coffee ran some errands and now I'm gonna head to Tommy's match guys I really love Italy I really really love it here the people are just so pleasant and friendly and nice I loved France and the produce and like food culture in France is very different than Italy, but the people in France are just a little bit tougher. I think that just directly correlates to me being American and not speaking French. I've noticed that, and I'm not the only one, French people don't love it when you don't speak French, which I respect. People in Italy don't mind as much. I find that always asking, say you call someone or you're ordering a coffee or you're ordering food, if you go, do you speak English? Like acknowledging that you're about to be speaking in another language, not their native language, I think comes across as more respectful, even if you're not trying to be disrespectful. But 
to not just automatically start speaking in English to someone who is Italian or French or anywhere in Europe. I think that's the best way to go about it and get like a more positive response from people. early so I've just been hanging out in the players lounge cafeteria area okay I'm just sitting now waiting for doubles to start bathroom so I thought I would get out of their way and um, do my makeup on camera with you guys the blowout and haircut I got today was probably the best blowout that I've gotten in years not to mention the haircut is just so good I literally don't know why I continue to order 22 inch extensions like I do this every time I get new hair I will literally order 22 inch hair every time and then after two or three weeks I'm like this looks like actual trash not only is it not that flattering on me at all which is like my face shape and just like my frame it's just not flattering on me i think shorter and medium length hair always looks better on me and i do this a lot like i'm really hoping this time that i learned my lesson this is another product that i used to use as you can see and i'm using it again and i I really really like it I also will actually use this as an eyeshadow kind of base and primer and then for my eyes today I'm not going to be using any eyeshadow just bronzers just gonna set that cream contour with the hula bronzer then with this little brush just gonna go on my under eye a little bit and then i'm gonna go in with my trusty graftopian palette that you guys see me use a lot i really use this palette to create light and dimension in my face i literally feel like adding this to highs and lows of your face literally can make your makeup look like a filter another little trick that i've been doing is contouring with the graftopian palette my lips before i do lip liner i'm actually gonna take the same thing i used on my lips just on the outer corner of the eye to just elongate my eye shape just like that okay now i'm just gonna set my under eye while i'm at it i'm just gonna set my makeup with the l'oreal always use this stuff a little goes a long way but it is so good it's like very very full coverage great though for photos and for all day events i'm gonna bring it on my jawline a little bit okay now i'm gonna use eyebrow gel just the rethy beauty stuff okay next just gonna curl the lashes but yeah overall guys i'm so happy that i cut my hair like please please if you ever see me get 22 inch extensions again please just fucking dm me and tell me to stop it's just so funny. It's like clockwork. Maybe one day I will learn. Okay, just gonna set my face. Okay, next. Lip liner. You guys know Nude Truffle by NYX is my all-time favorite. Literally the perfect brown. 
Then I'm gonna go in with the Kylie Cosmetics Matte Lipstick, just right in the middle. And this is in the shade Kylie 808. Okay, mascara. I've been using this one in literally all of my vlogs recently. When I do a really bronzy sort of eye with no eyeliner, I like to kind of make my mascara act as a winged eyeliner, even though it's not. So I will just like push my mascara outwards. I don't do it on the inner lashes. I'm just like pushing my lashes out to create kind of like a cat eye. And yep, that is all for mascara. I need to start coming out here when I do my makeup because I feel like this is the best my makeup's looked while I'm here because of the fact that I'm actually in the light. The bathroom doesn't have natural light, so, so everything looks quite different in there. Okay, guys, I'm going to get ready. I actually have to film an ad before I leave for the match, so I'm going to get ready. Okay, I am all ready to go to the match. I'm wearing this little cargo skirt from Subdued. Oh, also, I changed my lip color because I just shoot an ad for Revlon. This is a uh, rum raisin and raisin lip liner. Anyways, this little skirt from Subdued and then this with jean little jacket that they actually just sent to me here. So it like literally just arrived. Really excited because I was gonna wear this, but <laughs> I have two of them now, which is awesome. They're like epic. I'm obsessed with this like vintage inspired like little racer jacket. I really want to make one of these for Dairy Boy because I have like another one at home that's, that's from like the 70s that I want to like recreate into like a dairy boy vibe and then i'm just wearing these adidas gazelles my favorite sneakers 